Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Perpetual here. If you're new, you are warmly welcome. And guys, thank you all so much for joining me today as we make some delicious fish stew. Come along and let's get started. All right, so we're getting started with our fish. Now, the detailed video on how to make the perfect fried fish is just the video before this. So if you'd like, you can take a look at that. But clean your fish with some vinegar and some water and season it up. Today, I'm using paprika, some ginger powder, onion powder, garlic powder, one seasoning cube or a tablet. And then you're going to add a little bit of salt as well. And then after giving it a really good stir, I'm going to go ahead and give it a light coating of flour. And for the flour, I'm seasoning that as well with a little bit of garlic powder. Feel free to add some white pepper or some all-purpose seasoning as well, but today I decided to keep it simple. Now guys, if you have a large portion of fish, you can season it up and just split it and put half of it in the freezer and use half of it for the stew. Now for the oil to fry the fish, I went ahead to fry a little bit of garlic just to make the oil nice and fragrant. And then I fried my fish in batches. And my loves, before I keep going, if today is the first time that you are stopping by my channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and join this amazing growing family. And for y'all who have been here for a while, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so after frying the fish, I am using the oil from frying the fish. I am not using it directly from the frying pan just because I don't want any of that flour or all of that gunk at the bottom to be part of the stew. And what I just added is some blended onions, pepper, and bell peppers. And then after a few minutes, went ahead to add some blended tomatoes. Now at this point, if you're using tomato paste, you can add a tablespoon or two, and then you're gonna cover it up and let it cook for about half an hour. Now, after about half an hour of, you know, you need to check up on it, uh, periodically at least, and make sure it doesn't burn. But after about half an hour, I went ahead to add one seasoning cube. I added about a teaspoon of curry powder. I love curry powder, so I tend to add a little bit more. So you can add bits at a time and just adjust accordingly after tasting it. I also added some all-purpose seasoning. Now this is homemade and of course the recipe is on this channel as well. And I added some bay leaf and some rosemary as well. Now I'm going to give it a quick stir. Feel free to add some anise seeds as well if you'd like. Um, when I'm making fish stew, typically I don't use a lot of that. And even for the bay leaf, eventually I'll take it out before the stew is done. All right, now so for a few meal prep tips. Usually when I make a bay stew like this, because I like my fish to be fresh, I do not fry the whole portion of fish that I would like to use. At this point, when the stew is almost done, you can go ahead and divide it into a few portions. This is not a lot, so maybe just two. And add the fish to the portion that is left and freeze the other portion. When you're ready to use the frozen portion, just go ahead and fry your fish and add it in and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And you have a fresh tasting stew because you've cooked it that much more. Or if you'd like, after adding the fish, you can go ahead and split that as well and freeze it. Just make sure that it goes into the freezer as soon as it is cooled, just so that you preserve it to the best of your ability. And typically what I do is the portion that we're having, I'll add some fresh bell peppers as you saw me do at the beginning. And guys, that is it. Today I'm just packing the stew with a portion of rice. Um, so... I keep it simple, really. Um, I think a lot of times people think that my meals are elaborate. This is more realistic than anything, really. So just some uh, plain white rice, some fish stew, 
bougie it up a little bit with some parsley flakes and to add that pop of color and then nanakojo had some leftover fried plantain so i ended up adding that and that's it that's my lunch good to go just cover it up and heat it up when i'm ready to eat and guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see y'all again very soon take care guys bye